Hey guys, I'm Jim. I edit photos. Hope you're doing well. Thanks for swinging by. Today I am in Luminar AI and I'm playing around with a new transparent PNG uh, texture overlay feature which was added in update 2. I talked about that in this recent first look video, but one of the cool things about that is that if you have a transparent PNG file uh, using the texture overlay, you can lay it on top of your photo and it blends right in without having to change the blend mode. So this comes in really handy with watermarking. So I want to share you a couple of ideas um, and something I figured out that you can do uh, here in this video. So let me show you. Here's a photo and I'm going to say plus add texture and I'm going to go load the texture and this is just an old watermark. I did a video a while back where I took um, in Keynote, which is the Apple version of PowerPoint, it's called Keynote. Basically, you can build a slide. I built this logo slide in that, exported as a JPEG. Now I can open it, stick it on top of my photo as a texture, place texture. I can shrink it down, do all those kind of things. Uh, and as I showed in that other video, all you have to do is go in here to Advanced Settings, change Blend Mode to Lighten, and that background disappears. Of course, I can increase Opacity to show you that um, a little bit more brightly. But there's actually an easier way to make that logo in Keynote and make it a transparent PNG file because I'm going to go ahead and erase this. One of the things I kept thinking was, gosh, with this new transparent PNG, there's got to be an easy way to make your own logo. Now, there are services you can go to if you want to pay someone, and frankly, they'll do a professional job. This is not a professional logo, but there is an easy way to make a transparent PNG, and what that does for you is eliminate the need to go in and do that blend mode change. So let me show you what I'm talking about. I open Keynote and it says, says choose a theme. So I'm just going to go ahead and choose this main uh, presentation title theme. I'm going to delete a couple of sections. I'm going to shrink this section a little bit. I'm going to put it in the center. I'm going to go ahead and you can hit the option key and then G and that'll give you that copyright symbol. Space. I'm going to type my name. That looks good, and I'm gonna make this a whole lot bigger. So I'm gonna to go to text, and it's at 55. I'm gonna make it 255. There we go. Much bigger, easier to find. Here's the thing, you gotta make this a transparent PNG. So the first thing you do, I've got a black background, and you're thinking, that's not very transparent, and it isn't. And this is what I did in the past. Exported this as a JPEG, added that as the overlay, as I showed you a moment ago. But if you go into the format section, up here in this upper right-hand corner, there you go. And if you go to background, if you click that drop down and click no fill, it still shows as black, but there's actually a transparent background. So now you can go to file, export to, and images. And when you get to this section, format, choose PNG, and make sure you check this box. It says export with transparent backgrounds. Next, I'm gonna call this uh, WM for watermark. Save it to my desktop. I've just created a transparent PNG right here in Keynote. Now, if you're on Windows, I assume you can do the same in PowerPoint. I have no idea. I don't have PowerPoint. But I kept looking for an easy way to make a transparent PNG for a watermark. And every tutorial is like, do this in Photoshop. And I'm like, I hate Photoshop. And that's why I don't ever do tutorials around it. I don't really care for that product. It's a fine product. I'm not getting into that. But the point is, I was like, there's got to be an easier way. I don't want to hire somebody. You can do it in Canva, but you have to have a pro account. I was like, there's got to be an easier way to do it. You can do it in Keynote. So let me close this, go get that file, and show you how it works. Okay, back in the same photo, click to add a texture, and I'm going to go ahead and click load texture, and I'm going to go to my desktop, and I'm going to choose this WM, which is my PNG image, as you can see. And if you notice the icon there, it shows it, it looks white because it is transparent. I'm going to click open. There it is. It's landed directly on my photo. Uh, it's transparent. I can increase the opacity so you can see it better. I'm going to go ahead and click Place Texture so I can size it. So there we go. I'm grabbing it from the corner, kind of shrinking it down. I'm going to grab it. Oh, that's a little too tight. Grab it from this right-hand side, shrink it as well. Something about like that. Experiment, figure out the size you like, all that kind of stuff. But here we go. Now I've resized it. I can move it freely around, which is one of the new features in this texture tool here, which is fantastic. But now if I want to do that, uh, let's say I want to stick this logo right over here in that dark spot. I just rotate it, slide it into place, rotate it a little bit better to get it straight, and I click place texture again. And there we go. I quickly and easily created a transparent PNG in Keynote on a Mac probably can do that in PowerPoint on Windows. Exported it as a transparent PNG. Just make sure you tick the right box as I showed you there. 
and then added it here. And that keeps me from having to get into the advanced settings and mess around with the blend mode, which is really not a big thing to do. But if you wanted a full transparent PNG, make it a keynote in what, 30 seconds, export it, drop it in here, and you're done. That's how it works, my friends. Hope it gives you some ideas. Thanks for stopping by. I appreciate it. Hope you're doing well. I'll be back soon with more tutorials. Take care of yourselves out there. Have fun editing and audios.